Hi, uh, my name is Tommy Lindsay, and I teach at James Logan High School in Union City. This is my 39th year teaching, and um, I've been inducted this year, uh, 2015. And uh, the question that I would like to uh, uh, focus on is the uh, why do I enjoy teaching in, in the Bay Area? Um, any teacher would love this opportunity because the diversity that is available in the Bay Area is like no, none other. You, you draw from all the resources that are there, the things that the kids and the students that are able to share with you, and not only with you, but with other students. Um, and my particular uh, students, we have an opportunity to bring in like different kinds of dishes and, and uh, kids know how to say hello and goodbye in certain languages. And the rest of the world doesn't get that opportunity. And so if I were to, to uh, say um, why it's important uh, to be able to teach in the Bay Area and to have this diversity, it's for that particular reason. It is a gold mine. Well, um, as I s uh, spoke last night um, in my uh, speech uh, th with the words of Dr. Asa Hilliard, I don't find any difficult kids. I've been teaching for 39 years. I, I, I know that there's some kids that are troubled. I know there's some kids that have a lot on their plate. And you, you as an instructor, the first thing, um, just having not had to write a referral is, is an indication that you're going beyond where you need to go as a teacher sometimes to find out what is causing what that particular kid to act out. A lot of times kids like to use your classroom as a showpiece, as a stage. Um, so they, they are set to deal and operate in confrontation. But you can diffuse that by telling the, taking the kid you know, outside, speaking to the kid directly one-on-one. -on -one. In one particular situation, uh, I thought a kid that you know was a little difficult so far as uh, you know not cooperating and everything. So I asked the kid, you know, kept him after class, what is going on? He said, you know, Mr. Lindsay, I don't eat. You know, when a kid is not eating, he's not providing, not getting the energy that he or she needs in order to make it through a school. The school is their, their refuge. And so I um, said, well, well, we're going to resolve that. We're going to get you to feed you, and we're going to make sure that you eat. A completely different personality. Um, I, I think we're not counselors, but we're, we are uh, people that should have a greater concern uh, about students rather than just writing a referral or thinking that they're, well, every kid brings something, just like we as teachers bring uh, issues into the classroom. We, a lot of students um, bring problems and tough, tough, tough situations. Uh, you have to get to the root of it. And when you get to the root of it, you, you can resolve. Well, you just do it, and and um, you. I I just hope and pray that we can balance the budget, uh, but you make it happen. It's it's one of the most um, incredible opportunities for a kid. Uh, there's this one, one kid I can you know tell you about is uh, well I won't give you his name, but um, he did not have the money to go to the tournament. Bought him a suit. Um, he never graduated from college, but he got his um, uh, AA, worked for Disney, and now he's running his own business in New York, worth about you know, $10 million. And uh, I just spoke with him the other day. He is so thankful for the opportunity. And it's, we draw from people like that, um, uh, people that don't forget what has been done for them. And sometimes, um, I've never had a kid not to make it to a tournament because we didn't have it. We would prefer to go in debt as, as opposed to not allowing them to compete. One, one final thing. Um, 
regardless of who the student is and regardless of who the, what the student looks like, you, you never give up hope. You never give up hope because you never know what you as a teacher are going to spark in that particular kid. Case in point, um, one of my students was not, uh, didn't have the grades to go to UCLA. Uh, we we uh, sent appeal letters, appeal letters four times, and UCLA did not accept it. The fourth time they did. My response was, you may see him on paper, but I watch him every day. Now that student is a professor at Michigan State. It is a true testimony that you don't give up on any kid.